close your eyes and watch your breath. Make the breath your home right now. If the mind goes wandering off, it's going out into uncharted territories, unprotected territories. But if you're in your home, you're safe. In other words, you start thinking about things, and one thought leads to another, and suddenly find yourself overcome by greed, maybe, or anger about something, or delusion about something. And that can pull you even further and further away from where you really want to go. You want to find a place inside that's safe and that's comfortable. So make sure that the way you breathe is comfortable. So it's good to be here. I guess that this is the first step in what the Buddha calls the search for wisdom. It begins with the question, what when I do it will lead to my long-term welfare and happiness? And the first thing you've got to do is train your mind. Make sure that it does what you want it to do, otherwise you can gain all kinds of good things, but then the mind will tear them up and actually suffer because of them. It's like an animal that hasn't been trained. You give it good food and it just scatters it all over the place. When the mind hasn't been trained, you can get a good job, you can get good relationships, but then you can destroy them very easily. So you have to be very mindful. This is why we're trying to stick with the breath, is to develop the quality of mindfulness, which is the ability to keep something in mind. You tell yourself to stay with the breath, and then you keep remembering, stay with the breath, stay with the breath. And you want to be alert as well to notice what the mind is actually doing. And then you add a quality called ardency, and you're trying to do this well. It's the ardency that makes a difference, otherwise you're just going to wander around a little bit, come back to the breath, or leave the breath. It doesn't make much difference in your life, but if you can stay right here and have mindfulness continuous, then when things come up you're in a better position to judge whether you really want to go with them or not. Otherwise, if you don't know where you are and you're not feeling particularly comfortable, you just jump into whatever thought comes by, and who knows where it's going to take you. But if there's a sense of well-being right here, then a thought comes by and you can ask, who are you, where are you going? This is a good place to go. Can you trust the thought? And if you don't, then you don't have to go, because you're already in a comfortable place. So try to pay some attention to what feels good in the way you breathe right now. This way the mind has a safe home. It's coming from a position of strength. So that whatever you need to make a decision about, you decide from a position of strength. Most of the harmful things we do in life come when we feel threatened or weak. So give yourself some strength inside so you can make the decisions that really will lead to your long-term welfare and happiness.